In other news now, many members of the Lincoln community have stepped up to help those who have been impacted by the flooding. And the Yazidi community here in Lincoln is doing so in a big way as well. New at 5, Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Bailey Bischoff has the details for us. Bailey? Members of the United Yazidi Community of Lincoln spent their weekend gathering and distributing supplies for flood victims in Fremont because they say no Nebraskan should suffer. Donation after donation poured into the United Yazidi Community's tent near Northwest 9th Street and West Belmont over the weekend. Trucks were laden with different kind of food, uh, water and, uh, and diapers, um, toilet papers, a lot of stuff, and we gave it to them yesterday. All of which was delivered to Fremont, a community nearly washed away by flooded rivers. A lot of photos and stuff on Facebook, so I kind of started and I was like, let me, let me try to do something that can help them and I post that post on Facebook and ask friends to to help their willingness to help coming from their own loss and suffering we had over uh, I would say over 20,000 of the Yazidi they are all homeless refugees and they live in the camp without electricity without water and they have really horrible situation and same thing with my parents I have my parents they still live in Iraq and um, so I have the same feeling. If I was feeling that way, how much I will appreciate someone to come and help me. They say nearly everyone in the UZD community of Lincoln helped. Even those who couldn't afford to donate supplies donated their time, and they're not done yet. I'm going to reset up the tent for more donation to help more, pe um, help more people uh, in, uh, in Nebraska. They're just starting their mission to help as many of their neighbors as they can. Let's do this, put our hands together. As in Nebraska, we don't say only the Yazidi community, we say Nebraska community. They're going to set their tent up again this week and have several more trips to Fremont and other areas affected by the flooding to volunteer as well. And not just members of the Yazidi community are invited to help. Everyone is welcome. We'll have all the information on how you can get involved at KLKNTV.com. You know, as devastating as the floods have been, I just love these stories of everyone coming together. Thank you, Bailey. A Nebraska farm family.